Another regular to this great little meet is the wonderful old Carrera RS. Got a lovely old Triumph Stag here. I like the uh, vinyl hardtop on that. That really suits it, doesn't it? Today on Car Traction, we are back at the good old old piggery cafe. Oh, there's a Porsche coming in for the cars and caffeine meet at Commerce. It has been too long since we've been here, and it looks like it's going to be a promising turnout. Many, many classic cars, classic sports cars, and modern sports cars. We have come here in the 47 Dodge pickup very popular vehicle it seems to be among shows and we've also got the little MX-5 here and another regular to most meets we go to is this gorgeous TR4A I always comment on the wonderful colour we've got a Lotus rolling in that'll be one of the more modern sports cars but let's get back to this TR4 such a beautiful example this one I just love the interior in these yeah be beautiful old car this isn't it really Gorgeous example, we've got an S2000 rolling past. But yeah, this TR4A looks like a proper classy car, isn't it, really? Just next up, we got a fantastic old rider. Nice to see something pre war here. This is a 12 4 special. Look at the size of the brakes on the back. Love the big old drum brakes and big chunky tyres. Nice Riley branded knockoff. Spinners there, what a great looking thing this is. Got the little pre-selector four-speed gearbox there. Wonderful thing this, isn't it? There's the Lotus rolling by. I love this. We got the uh, twin SUs just sticking out a little bit of the bonnet there, the leather straps. But yeah, great old car this. What a great way to get into the likes of VSCC events. I can't get over how lovely these old Avon tyres look on those lovely green rims, absolutely fantastic. Lovely old little filler cap as well, I do like this one. Did does emit a good smell of Castrol R as it uh, burbles past. We've also got a nice bit of soot burning after the exhaust, I always like to see that. The exhaust is a lovely affair isn't it? What a great old car, this is, you can tell I'm enthusiastic for the really old pre-war ones. Just a great old thing this, isn't it? This really is a bit of me, I do love these. What a great old car. Oh, yeah. And just beyond that wonderful Riley, we've got a lovely old Triumph TR6. Now this is a great old car, we've got the nice hard top with a little sunroof harking back to its days of being a convertible. The owner of the car has had this 15 years and it used to be a, a convertible but he's put the hard top on but still wanted to have a little bit of air rushing around him so that's warranted this sunroof but this is this is such a lovely example of four speed overdrive just look at that interior being a TR6 we've got the lovely 2.5 Triumph engine up front and it makes a lovely sound I have a feeling this one has a bit of a noisy exhaust on it as well it's maybe looking a little bit lower than other TR6s but that is just lovely isn't it Dad saw it yesterday uh, driving past and he said it sounded wonderful so I'm looking forward to maybe if I can get that leaving here because that, that is a wonderful recipe. Great old thing that. And as per usual we got the sports hatch of Vauxhall Forenza. It's very iconic red and black livery see this one at most shows we go to it never gets old the wonderful styling of this old thing doesn't it and beyond that we got a modern bmw 2 series another regular to this great little meet is the wonderful old carrera rs this is one of the earliest carreras that i regularly see that shows and it is an absolutely lovely car this will be about 72 or 73, so one of the earlier ones. It sounds absolutely fantastic. It's a lovely example that it's got a roll cage in it, so it might be a bit of a sort of hill climb or race car, or it might just be a little bit sportier, but yeah, that's a fantastic old thing, isn't it? 
Beside that, we've got a bit of a modern Porsche and we got a Cayman GT4 here. That's quite a thing, isn't it? The most recent of the Caymans. You may have seen the Alton Park video, similar looking Porsches rising around the Alton Park circuit. So you usually have the Cayman. Now this is the Cayman GT4, which is like a special edition, which is obviously a bit faster, which sort of... It references the GT4 Club Sport, which is the racing one. So I think they might have put a bit of the sort of maybe the racing rims or things on the normal Cayman to sort of bring it up to the spec of the actual club sport. Yeah, they're quite they're meant to be quite cool things, these GT4s, and I can see why from here. I've never really had a close look at one, but from what I can see it is quite a thing. And there we've got a lovely old lotus. That's not, not, I don't know why I said that's not old at all. I've seen, I've seen an Elan pulling in. I believe these have a V6 mid-engine setup. And on the end, beyond the S2000, a fun little sports car similar to our MX-5 is the by Leave. This is, I believe this is a Ferrari California here. One of the cheaper ways, I mean it's not not cheap at all in the grand scheme of things, but one of the cheap ways into a front engine Ferrari. Always good to have the engine at the front, I think. Nice old GT car. It's probably about 2009 or so, so far from the newest model, but it's still relevant. There you go, California T, this one. But it does look the part in blue, actually. We've got a bit of a Fiat a bath corner here. We've got a trio of 124 spiders. Do you think they've come together? Fun little sports cars. Slim and similar to an MX-5, but different. Yeah, it's nice to see them all together. I like the idea of having the uh, matte black bonnets. That's like a sort of little sort of nod to the old theatre bath of the 60s that used to get rallied at like Monte Carlo and places like that. Yeah, they look quite nice together, don't they? Well, what a turnout we've got today. Just look at all the great cars we've got here. Starting off on this row with a VW camp, then we've got a modern Audi estate. And on the other end of the spectrum is this lovely little MG midget. This is the uh, second to last variation of them. Great old little sports car these, aren't they? Cute little Ross styles. Nice to see these things still being used. We've also got a bigger brother, the MGB, rolling in. We've actually got another one here in the form of Grandad's. Yeah, fun little car, these old midgets, aren't they? Same can be said for this MGB GT of Grandad. It's good to see him and his car going to many events. Now what is this? We've got a good old Fiesta. This is a popular plus, apparently. Don't know much about them. We've got a lovely old little Alpha. That's quite a rare thing. Not quite sure the model of that, so I'll have to have a look. Sounds quite nice. We've got a Wow, look at that Mercedes. When was the last time we saw a 190 like that? And another little Mini. So I'll have to have a look at those after. Wow, this Fiesta's in good condition, isn't it? Panache, is that how you meant to pronounce that? I don't know. I'm sure it was one of the sort of many special editions that these little cars had. It's like the Metro's really, there are so many like different little variants. You can't possibly remember them all. We've got an Aston coming in, there's usually a fair share of those that come to this meet. On that we've got a wonderful little Triumph Spitfire, I like the wire wheels on that. So this is the 1500, the Mark V effectively, the last of all the Spitfires. And I must say, this does look like a nice old car, as the 190 Alpha and Mini roll past. 
I do like painted wires on these, I think it really suits them. Also yellow actually really suits it. But a great little old sports car, this one's the spec you'd want really for speed overdrive. The biggest engine out of all the Spitfires, 1500cc, or to be nerdy, it's actually 1496, I believe, but no one really cares about that. Yeah, that's a nice example of that. We've got another little yellow sport sports car in the form of this Lotus Elan S4. How lovely does that look? I adore these older lands. This, these are just brilliant, aren't they? What a cute little sports car that is. Just a beautiful old thing. An example of like how sports cars, they don't have to be massive, do they? They can be just as small and dinky as these and still be great old fun. What a wonderful old thing, this. I love these lands. Beyond the Megan RS, we've got an old beer room that formed this E36. This is the long wheelbase, as opposed to the short wheelbase, you guessed it. Looks like a bit of a track day sports car, really, doesn't it? I like the uh, rims on that, that looks quite nice. Uh, this is a proper M3 as well. That's probably quite a bit of fun on a track, isn't it? Same to be said for this Porsche GT3 here. In this little corner, got a bit of a rally prepared old Escort. Let's have a quick look at the bare interior of this car. Still got a good old manual gearbox, no sequential here. That must be quite a bit of fun to drive. Some of these Escorts make crazy power though. I've seen some of them make sort of like 300 odd or something. I don't know what this one is, but it looks quite good on those golden mini lights, doesn't it? Got a lovely old Triumph Stag here. I like the uh, vinyl hard top on that. That really suits it, doesn't it? Cool thing, this, isn't it? I do like them with the hard top, actually. I think they look really nice. Just a lovely, sharp design. Let's have a look at the inside of this one as the window's open. This one's an automatic. A nice old thing, this, isn't it? Good usable classic. Yeah, but it would be a good long distance car, you could go to a classic car show across the country in this and it won't miss a beat because that V8 is just a great engine and with the automatic it would be dead sort of easy to drive I would say with automatic you've got to have a big engine really to warrant that but I mean this is, is it a 3 litre I'm right in saying V8 so it's more than enough for a gearbox like that so a great long distance car indeed I do quite like that. Looks like we've got an E92 M3 as well. Rolling past the lovely stag. Don't think I've ever seen something like this at the uh, Cobb May meet before. It's just a little breakfast meet for some cars, but where has this come out? Have we got an Aston Martin DB5 Super Legera? Wow, that is lovely, isn't it? A great old example of a low revving six on the British sports car. I do like that. Looks lovely in the light blue. That's a great thing, that, isn't it? What a classy car. If you just crawl around here. Oh, that is nice. I think they actually look better in like the blues and greens than the silvers that you see loads of them in. Wonderful old car. It probably only has to about 5,000, but it's just so talky. You wouldn't need to go above 4,000 if you were trying to get a few uh, miles quicker. That is lovely, that, isn't it? 
beautiful. Lovely condition inside as well, actually. But yeah, I think this is this has got to be one of the best colours to have a DB5 in. But to be fair, they're not going to look bad in any colour. Even if you had it in the most horrendous brown, it would still look beautiful. But yeah, this colour definitely does complement it. I don't think I've ever seen the cars spread as far down as here, so it's an amazing turnout for today's meeting. Let's have a look over here. We've got a TVR, is that a Cherbera, is that how you pronounce it? C-E-R-B-E-R-A, so it's a Cherbera, I think it is something like that, isn't it? A Cerbera, but nice old thing now. I want to have a look at this 190. Look at the size of those rims. Wow. This is quite a cool old thing, isn't it, really? <laughs> Beyond that, now it's an Alpha Sud SC, this one. Interesting it's on li cute little revolution wheels. I don't think I've ever seen one of these on those. And it's not that often you see a... What colour is that? Is it beige, brown, br bronze? That's it, bronze. I knew it was with a B. Um, you never really see one of these, especially in that great colour isn't it I know people think beigey bronze on a car that must look terrible but on this sort of thing doesn't it look great this would actually be a really fun little car to drive because it's got a lovely sporty alpha engine and it's re really light that is actually quite a that would be quite a fun little car beyond the MGTF we've got another very shiny looking Lotus, this is another V6 mid-engine one as the Chimera in yellow makes some noises They do sound the part, don't they? Off he goes, struggling to find spaces now a bit, aren't they? Let's have a closer look at this Lotus then these are actually quite cool. I don't usually go for modern cars that much, but I reckon these would actually be quite a nice thing to drive. Mid-engine V6. Ah, so this is the Exige S. Low place for a badge, isn't it? But I guess it's a low, low, low car. Yeah, I think the rims actually look quite good on that. I must say that is quite nice. Obviously a manual, which I always rate. Here we've got another Cayman S, another 911. And here is the Aston Martin we saw coming in earlier. This is a Vantage, this one. There's so much here today, it's amazing. Here's the Mini. Ah, it's a Mayfair. Once again, one of the little special editions we get on these little cars like this. Lovely interior in there. That dash is lovely condition. It's quite a late one, but must be quite good fun. Alright, we got a... Wow, that, that's quite a difference, isn't it? We've got a Porsche GT3 here in a sort of dark purple, almost. Huge rear wing. This is the latest generation of 911. Absolutely massive when you compare it to the other one, but I guess. I guess there has to be space for, like, a big wing and wheels, but it does show how, like, some older cars are more packed in than other ones that have just got a bit fat. As some motorbikes rise past, we've got a Griffith TVR. It's always a good showing of TVRs here. Plus a trio of Chimeras. And we've got another carrot Chimera here. This is the yellow one. Another little Lotus. And we've got another trio of Chimeras over here. Great old things, these. And another Griffith on the end. When was the last time you saw one of these? A 1.3 litre engine Escort Cabriolet. That is such a rarity. Now I like the little Ford uh, mud flaps. Yeah, that's a nice, oh sorry, 1.6. I meant to say that, but I said three for some reason. But I've seen this one a couple of times, but you don't see any other models like this at all, really. They just disappeared overnight, really, you realise. That they've just gone one one night in the 90s they'd be everywhere on every street but then by the 2000s they're just gone all together oh wow i like that mg i'll definitely have a look at that i 
I think you can tell I like the pre-war ones if you're new to the channel, but I also have a thing for these 60s and 70s ones, like this MGB here. So there's one of the Hopley House meats, which I've been to a few times now, made a couple of videos on those over my time. And yeah, just a lovely old sports car. And I've also seen this magnificent Rolls Royce a couple of times before this. It's just such a nice car. Just a great, great thing. Nice automatic gearbox, a huge engine up front. Probably six cylinders, six cylinders I'd imagine, but that is lovely, isn't it? Could cruise down to your uh, French chalet in this and park it outside. It could probably do a good sort of 70 odd on the motorway. It's just that huge, torquey engine. Just look at the wonderful interior touch. It's so, so sleek inside. I really like that. That's such a lovely thing, isn't it? It just looks so classy, I think. A beautiful old car, this. I like the uh, original style of registration as well. One thing I like about this car is that it's not quite pristine. It could be that it's maybe original or certainly I'd say it's an older restoration because you can just see like the little pinstriping here it sort of starts to fade away and most people would be like oh no that doesn't look good but I think actually the little bit of fading away actually really sets it off nicely and it just makes it look I don't know how to describe it really but I just really like the slight sort of fading away of the pinstriping I think it makes it look quite nice but a wonderful old car indeed Here's something we've seen a few times here at this uh, Cars and Caffeine meet. We got a Renault Sport Clio V6, which is quite a dramatic thing. Imagine a little French hatchback and sticking a V6 in the back of it. Got that big hump there. I'm sure we can figure out why that's there. Probably quite an entertaining car, I'd imagine these to be. And here we got a Renault 21, saw this at Hopley House. Just a great old reliable car, like I said, the sort of thing you'd expect to be everywhere, but suddenly they're just you just don't see them anymore. Yeah, it's good to see cars like these 90s ones still in regular use. There we've got a Nissan Figaro, it's been a while since I've seen one of those. Beyond this 911 we've got a gorgeous old Alfa Romeo. What a great colour for one of those that is. I'll have to have a quick look around the back cab. Is this a 1750? Oh no, no, this is a 2000, the big engine one. Lovely twin cam engine. Gosh, this is just so classy, isn't it? Just look at that. It's interesting being a right-hand drive as well. Most of these you'd see will probably be left-hand drive, so it must have been a UK market car or somewhere where they drive on the right side of the road. We've got a nice old Healy running in. I don't think I've seen that one before. Looks like it's been around a bit, we've got a few Le Mans stickers in it. That is such a gorgeous little car, isn't it? I love these old Alfa, Alfa Romeos. And over there we've got the English equivalent of a sporty saloon in the form of that Mark 1 Escort. I've seen that quite a few times here, know the owner quite well. I do love that, what a classy looking car that is. I just love these old 70s Alfa Romeo, so sleek and stylish. And then, similar period, is this Porsche 914. You don't really see these anymore, and they're probably meant to be quite good to drive because it's only a tiny little engine. Probably a mid engine it counts as. This is left hand drive one, five speed manual. Great looking things, aren't they? Just so weird, but in a good way. Yeah, these are quite a bit of fun, aren't they? Another regular to this meet is, no, not a 911, but a 930 Turbo. The main difference being this slopey front. So this is basically the same underneath as a 911 Turbo of the 80s, but with the sort of, maybe a bit more of a Le Mans style front. This is a left-hand drive example. I like the little uh, sort of gloves for the uh, rear view mirrors 
But it is an interesting car, this being a 930. It's a rare, rare thing. I've never seen another one, and especially being a turbo, it's the one you'd want. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool thing, this. I do like it. Yes, yeah, nice looking car. As I said, these slightly older Porsches, they're just a lovely compact design, aren't they? As these modern ones, they're a bit massive, aren't they? But this, the, these sort of things are a bit more sort of me. Now, what, what, I don't know what words to describe this. Look at the size of the tyres. So this, this is the Ultima can -Am. We've seen it at a few shows before. If memory serves as a 6.3 litre, maybe Chevy engine in it, but the main thing about this is it is crazy. It's really, it sounds crazy. It must be crazy to drive because one thing I like about these old Ultimas is, I mean, this is probably a 90s car now, but it still looks period. It still looks like it could have been made yesterday. But one thing I love about these old Ultimas is there's no assist whatsoever. It's a manual gearbox, no ABS traction control, nothing like that. It's just absolutely crazy thing. Must be such a terrifying thing to drive. Beyond that, we've got something a bit more refined in the form of this lovely old 911. And this looks like a very tasteful example. As I've said many times already today, and I can't stop saying it, wonderful compact design. This is a 911T with a 2.4 litre engine in. Yeah, it's just a wonderful looking car. I must say, I do love them in this green. It's a lovely looking thing that, isn't it? Got a little 911 Targa just peeking around in this corner here. There's a bit of a struggle for space because it's such an amazing turnout. And then beyond the trio of a bath, we've also had a Ford pickup turn up. And this, this is a lovely MG Taurus, a four seat Taurus, that's a big one. What a graceful, beautiful old car that is. I love the little MG logo inside the lamps. What a great old thing this is. Just so classy, isn't it, really? Can't say no to a big pre-war MG, really, can you? What a lovely dash in there. Wow. That is just perfect. This would be a really lovely car to own and drive. Got the little MG logo on the uh, bonnet release as well. Is this, is this one popular with you, Grandad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, everything's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I just love it. It just looks like an Art Deco clock, doesn't it? That dash. That's a wonderful old thing, this. And beyond that, we've got a Rover P4, or the Rover 90, as is alternatively known. These were sold as a four and a six cylinder. I'm glad to say this car is a six cylinder. It's nice to see this sort of thing. We don't really see many old Rovers anymore, but it is nice to see them. This is a slightly early one. I love the old uh, Blue Mills registration. That's lovely, that. Original registration to the car as well, which is nice to see. These are just lovely old things. Quality, quality car. Just look at that dash. I've looked through the rear window actually, it's a bit easier. Just a wonderful old thing, and with that six under engine, it'll just keep on going. I can't, these, these plates are lovely. I'm sorry, it's really dull, but they are just wonderful old plates. Yeah, this would be a wonderful little car to drive. Very, very just sublime quality, really. A wonderful old thing. Next to that we got a not a TR5 but an old TR250 so this is the American spec car. A lot of these went over to America. I presume this one's been converted to right hand drive but the one thing about the American cars is it runs on carburetors. The English ones would have been running on injected but these ones are run on carburetors which makes it a bit simpler. Just a great old car. This would sound fantastic. 
Once again, pretty much the same engine as in the TR6, but just running on carburetors instead of injected. And the TR6, this is an overdrive car, I believe, at the back as well. So that's the one you'd want, really. And that is just how nice is that? Well, what a range of cars we've had here today, and it's getting even more diverse with this. And I'm not fully sure what model this is. It's obviously a Ferrari. It might be like SF90 or something like that. It's V8 mid-engined. Just have a quick peek at the engine. It's probably like four and a half litre or somewhere around there. It's just a big thing, isn't it? Absolutely massive at the back isn't it? I'll have to have a quick look around the front. It's a bit massive isn't it but I guess that's the same with any modern car really. It must be quite a dramatic thing. And then we got a 90s equivalent in this Noble M12 GTO, a very left field choice for sort of modern classics but these are quite desirable things now. Then we've got that Ford uh, V8 hot rod back here. Saw that hot play out as well. Oh, wow, that's quite a quite an engine going on there. John in his lovely old 3000 Healy. He came in an E-Type recently. Such a lovely car this. Quite a few cars are starting to make tracks and I think we'll join them soon. We've had quite a good day, it's been an amazing turnout and this surprisingly is the only commercial here at this 
combo here, classic car meet and modern sports car and all sorts. The diversity is actually very good, so it's done every month, so why not head down? They've got a Facebook group that's uh, got quite clear dates and everything, so why not have a look at the Cars and Caffeine at Commomere Facebook group. But for now, that is pretty much it from this video. Go have a look at the channel homepage if you haven't quite got all of your car traction satisfaction for today. Does that rhyme? Traction set? It does! Oh, um, please remember to subscribe for more videos like this, and that's all. Thanks for watching.